Now, the reunions are essentially underway for the few families that were chosen. But for those who were not, the reunions remain an unlikely dream that they may never get to experience. Uh, Guan Zhang brings us the background. 1953. The Korean War ends and the peninsula is divided into north and south, displacing an estimated 10 million families. For decades, these families remained torn until the Korean Red Cross launched a campaign in 1971 to try and find and reunite them. A reunion finally took place in September 1985 as part of a cultural exchange event between the two Koreas. But it would be another 15 years until the next one came along. At a groundbreaking inter-Korean summit in 2000, South Korean President Kim Tae-jung successfully negotiated a deal with North Korean leader Kim Jong-il and a series of reunion events followed. Since then, there have been 19 more and this year's will be the 20th. The reunions have been hailed as a breakthrough in inter-Korean relations, but for the separated families, it can be a frustrating and agonizing process as most do not get the chance to meet. Since 1988, over 130,000 people in South Korea have registered with the government as separated family members. Almost half have passed away now, and less than 4,000 families have taken part in the reunions. For this latest round, 100 people from each side were chosen by lottery to reunite with their families. Why only 100? North Korea claims that the Mamkungang Resort where the meeting is taking place can only accommodate a limited number. But South Korean experts say it has more to do with control as the participants are hand-picked and given instructions on what to say and how to act. The families who are fortunate enough to participate in the reunions only have a few hours over several days to spend with their long-lost relatives. And once the reunion is over, there is no further contact between them. For the thousands still waiting, time is running out. Over 50% of those currently on the separated families list in South Korea are in their 80s or above. Surviving family members and their advocates are pushing for more reunions. But with the North Korean regime unwilling to consent and the political relationship between the two Koreas unpredictable, most families will be left wondering about the fate of their loved ones. Kwon Jang-woo, Arirang News.